they had units that were on top and bottom, like miles per hour, feet per second, okay? Those are all compound unit examples. Um, I wanna do a couple of more of those before we move on from them. Um, so if you would look at letter I, okay, in your packet on page 15 here, and um, we're looking at 130 meters per second and we're converting that into miles per hour. So <clears throat> you gotta get a little bit creative in how we actually convert this here. Um, so we're gonna put 130 meters over one second. That's 130 meters per second, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make our next box here. Now, we need to try to convert meters into miles and seconds into hours, okay? Now, I don't know exactly how many meters there are in a mile. You can look back at the page before this, and you have all those conversions on there. It might tell you, but um, actually, it has this conversion right here, which we can use. So if you look... There's one meter per second is equal to 2.2 miles per hour. Well, we can use that, okay? So we have 130 meters per second, and... Hold on, be patient there, Jimmy. Now, um, if you got 130 meters per second and we are converting into miles per hour, let's see... The way that, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this individually. Um, actually, mm, I can do that. Okay, I'll do this two ways to show you two different ways of how to, how to solve this. Because some of these compound conversions, like it gives you a straight conversion, and you can do it one way. Sometimes it doesn't, and you got to convert them both. Um, individually. So I'll go ahead and convert this individually. And in this case, I would look at the conversion up at the, um, the top right here. That's 0.62 miles per one kilometer. If you convert meters into kilometers, then you can go from kilometers into miles. So does anybody know how many meters are in a kilometer? Kilo would be a thousand. So um, down on the bottom, you're going to have a thousand meters is one kilometer that will cancel out your meters okay and we still want to go from kilometers into miles and the page before said that uh, 0.62 kilometers is equal to or no i'm sorry other way around one kilometer is equal to 0.62 miles so down on the bottom you're going to have one kilometer and that's equal to 0.62 miles all right kilometers will cancel out that'll leave you with miles per second okay you only cancel the unit so kilometers and kilometers meters meters okay you can cancel those out and that's another way how you can actually kind of self-check to see if you set it up right is if your units cancel out if they don't you probably didn't set it up right okay so right here, we have seconds on the bottom. We want to get to hours. So let's go from seconds into minutes. So over here, we want to go from seconds to minutes. And there are 60 seconds in one minute. Okay? Now, seconds will cancel with the seconds that you have here. And again, this is just like a big fraction. So this is the top of your fraction. This is the bottom. So if you have the same unit on top and bottom anywhere in the fraction, then you can cancel it out. All right, we're in uh, miles per minute, but we want to get to miles per hour. So we got to go from minutes to hours now on the bottom here. So minutes are down here. We want minutes up here. So 60 minutes is equal to one hour. All right, minutes will cancel out and leave us with miles per hour. And then we just go ahead and do our math. So multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. So you have 130 times 1 times 0.62 
times 60, times 60, and then divide all that by 1,000. And that's going to give us 290.16 miles per hour. 290.16. That's pretty fast. Now, how many, how many sig figs should I keep here? Ben? Should only keep two. Because going back to your beginning number, you had 130. There's no decimal point, so that zero is not significant. So we actually should round this off to 290 miles per hour. <clears throat> All right, now the other way to do this is like this. If you have a straight conversion, like you do on this one, you have meters per second into miles per hour. It's listed right here. 2.2 miles per hour equals one meter per second. If that's the case, this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the other way to, to be able to do this. So 130 meters per second, you leave all that on the top of the fraction in this case, instead of splitting it up and putting one on top and one on bottom. And you're gonna use your conversion. So one meter per second is equal to 2.2 miles per hour. And then meters per second cancels with meters per second right there. 130 times 2.2 should give you your answer, which should be right around 290, hopefully. And it's 286. All right, so what was the point of making that little square thing when you could have just done 130 times 2.2? Because I wanted to show you two different ways of doing it. Not every one of these is going to have a straight conversion, like a one-step conversion. So you may have to do both the top and the bottom. But in this case, it does. So sometimes there's more than one way of doing this. Now, here's the thing. Some of you might be sitting there saying, well, in this one, we got 290.16. In this one, we got 286. That's a difference of four miles per hour. That's pretty, pretty big, okay? But again, here's the thing. Remember our sig figs. This has two sig figs. This has two sig figs. So when we round it, this is going to round to 290, which is exactly what the other one rounded to. Does that make sense? So, so it all ends up evening out in the long run okay all right you want to work one more like this okay um let's do number or letter m all right letter m you got 88 inches per second into miles per day. All right, this one, we are not gonna have a straight conversion. So we're gonna have to do this individually. So 88 inches over one second. All right, what's a path that we could get from inches into miles? Inches into feet? Inches into feet? and then feet into miles, okay? So how many inches are in a foot? 12. What's going to be on the bottom, inches or feet? Mm, inches is on top right here, so you want inches on the bottom. So you have 12 inches per one foot. Inches will cancel out. And then they might know how many feet are in a mile. Evan? 5, All right, it's 5,280. And what goes on bottom? Feet or miles? Feet. Feet. 5,280 feet in one mile. So feet will cancel out. All right, now we go from seconds to days. So I would go from seconds to minutes to hours to days. Okay? So right here you have seconds. You want seconds on top over here. So 
So we have 60 seconds in one minute. And then there are 60 minutes in one hour. And then there are 24 hours in one day. And hours will cancel with hours, minutes will cancel with minutes, and seconds will cancel with the seconds over here. And <clears throat> so if you multiply all this out, that's how you're going to do this. Um, you got 88 times 60 times 60 times 24. And then you're going to divide that number by 12, hit enter and then divide that number by 5,280 and that gives you 120 miles per day. Do I have to round this at all? I do not because 88 has two sig figs, so does 120. All right. Any questions about, about those? Okay. Go ahead and flip to the next page. We're going to do a few examples from here before um, we read a poem. All right. <clears throat> this is an island adventure in dimensional analysis. Okay. Okay. These are probably not conversions that you all are familiar with because they're like sailing conversions. Unless you're like an experienced sailor, probably not going to be super aware of these. Um, but that's why you have the conversions. So number one, your cruise ship is leaving for a 610 league adventure. How many nautical miles is this? So leagues in sailing, that is a distance. So if you look right here, find leagues okay so we have leagues into yards and we can figure out yards into feet because there's three feet in a yard and then we can go from feet to nautical miles so that's a three-step conversion that can get us from leagues into nautical miles all right so 610 leagues into yards so one league equals 5,280 yards. Leagues will cancel. And then from yards, we go to feet. So there's three yards, or sorry, three feet in one yard. So one yard will go on the bottom, three feet will go on the top. Yards will cancel out. And then we go from feet right here into nautical miles. So this is a big decimal here. Um, we got 6,076.11549 feet in one nautical mile. So feet will cancel and leave you with nautical miles. So if you go ahead and multiply this out, you get 610 times 5,280 times 3 times 1, and then divide that by 6,076.11549. And that gives you a really big decimal. So 1,590.226522 nautical miles. And we can round this to the same number of sig figs as your original number, which is two. So in that case, we would keep the one and the five, the next digit's a nine. So you're gonna round the five up to a six. So it'd be 1,600 nautical miles. That would be your sig fig answer. All right, so the first three here are all dealing with distance or length. 
The fourth one is volume. So we're going to take a look at that one. Uh, this says you are rationed to 32 gills of fresh water a day. How many liters is this? Well, gill is a unit of volume. So 32 gills. All right. Um, if you look at your conversions up here, you got gills into pints and pints into quarts and then quarts into liters. So that's one path that we could take. All right, so 32 gills right there. If we go from gills to pints, there's four gills in one pint. And then if we go from pints to quarts, two pints on the bottom is equal to one quart. So pints cancel out gills cancel out we're left with quarts and then finally quarts into liters so there's 1.0567 quarts in one liter all right if we go ahead work that out the 32 that's the only number that's on top other than the ones divided by four divided by two, divided by 1.0567. And that gives us 3.78536 liters. But we can't keep all those digits. So your original number had two sig figs. So your answer should have two sig figs. So that means we're gonna keep the three and then the seven is gonna round up because the next digit is an eight. So it'd be 3.8 liters for your final answer there. All right, real quick, show me on your fingers. How well do you feel like you're understanding this? One through five. So we got some variance here, okay? All right, that's fine. Um, now, this is what I want. Okay, I want you to work two and three on your own. And uh, I'm gonna come around, and if you are struggling, okay, um, this would be the time to get questions answered. So I'm gonna be around, so if any of you have any questions, just.